Hey guys, it's Ashley, and today this video is about my complexion drama. I don't know if you can tell in the video, obviously you can tell that. I've been having like random outbreaks and random patches, and my skin is so dry. It's almost flaky. It's so dry in certain patches. And I don't have dry skin. I usually have really oily skin. Um, <clears throat> my rosacea is out of control. I have like pounds of foundation on today. And because I'm having to put on so much, I don't think my phone will pick it up. But my skin is so cakey looking with my makeup. And I hate it. So, but at the same time, I need to cover this stuff up. So I'm like, what am I going to do? So I've come to this conclusion. I think one, my foundation brush is crap. I use a Studio Gear foundation brush and it worked very well for me for a while, but I think I need to start using a stippling, stippling, however you say it, brush, um, to get a more, for one, to make my foundation look better. And for two, just to have more of a full coverage. Cause I'm not a person that can do what, like medium to low coverage on my face. I just can't. I have too many problem areas. So I think one, I need to get that, but I have really good products. I put a lot of money into my products. So there's no reason why I should have to walk around looking like I have a cakey, dry, like flaky face. It's really frustrating me. So I was at Meyer today getting some pop. Um, and I grabbed a couple things to try. One, I don't know if this will help or not, but I've just been hearing about this foundation from left and right. Um... One of its top supporters is Candy Johnson, which I'm sure you've all heard of and seen her channel. If not, check her out. She is fantabulous. She's a makeup designer. I'm not a makeup designer, makeup artist. I've been watching too much Project Runway. <laughs> um, and she actually uses this in her professional makeup kit. And it's the L'Oreal True Match Blendable Makeup. Um, I swatched all of them. I think one of my problems is I've been doing using foundation that is too dark for me. Um... So, I mean, I try to blend it, but I, I, I think my foundation is like two shades too dark because my bronzer blends in almost, as you can see, my contour almost completely blends in with my face or it just looks like a random splotch. And I don't, I don't like that. I spend too much time and money on makeup to deal with that. So I'm trying, I'm trying this. It was $6 and this is what it looks like. I swatched it on my hand and I don't think you'll be able to see Oh, you can. I can't point because I have to hold the camera, but you can see that circle where it's a different color, and it's like flawless compared to this half and that half. And that was with like the teeniest little speck of product. So I really have high hopes for this foundation. I'm thinking maybe I'm just using too much stuff on my face. I use two different kinds of primers. I use you know, my foundation, and then I go over it again with a, like a sealer. I, I think maybe I'm just using too much and applying it too heavily. I also think I need a better moisturizer. I, I'm using Benefit and Bare Mineral Moisturizer. What, what kind of moisturizer do you guys use? My face is just so dry, and it feels nice and, like, healthy and hydrated when I put it on, and, like, two seconds later, my face soaks it up. I've never had a problem with dry skin before. Like, help me. I don't know what to do. So, um... I think that's making my foundation look bad. These breakouts obviously are not helping me. So I'm really excited to try this on my face. I'm going to go inside, take off my makeup, and try it on right away because I'm, I'm so curious about this. I've seen this all over YouTube. It's affordable. It's a drugstore product. If this can replace my high-end foundations, I'm all for it. So I'm really excited about that. I'm actually the color before the lightest, nude beige. Um... I'm, this is the lightest foundation I've ever bought in my life, but I think I'm just kidding myself when I buy the darker ones because as you can see from my hand, I'm there. See that? This is what I mean. I think I'm using stuff that's way too dark for me. It's not obvious on my neck, but I just feel, I don't know. I think that's part of the problem. I also bought this because I've been hearing everyone talk about the Beauty Blender. Um, <clears throat> especially the gorgeous twins, not twins, or sisters. My mind's blanking on their username right now. Um, all that gorgeous or something. You guys know who I'm talking about. Anyway, they swear by the blending, um, the face blender thing. And I didn't want to pay $20 for that, for the beauty blender. And I know a lot of people got it in their birch box, but I never did, unfortunately. So I saw this, like, imitation version of it by Studio M Professional. And it's a different shape. It's 
kind of like an inappropriate shape. <laughs> but I think it's supposed to be the same way. And it also, we get with water and it expands. And I'm going to test this out with that other foundation. I think between a different application and a lighter shade and hopefully something more moisturizing that I will have a better look to my foundation. If that doesn't work, I'm going to be buying the stippling brush. I already have the one picked out that I want to try. It's a hot pink and black one from Ulta. I forget the name of the brand. I also got some different makeup remover. Um, the ones I was using, I just don't think... It, it was really, really greasy. I like the Lancome one for my eyes, and I understand that that has to be greasy. But my other one was, like, all greasy. I don't know. Ugh, I'm having issues. Complexion drama. I need complexion perfection. So, um, I'm trying these. I've never tried them before. I have tried Neutrogena products before. Um, I use Neutrogena for my, like, cleansing wipes. But this is the Neutrogena Makeup Remover Cleansing Towelettes, and it's the hydrating one. Now I've tried the light blue one, I've tried, I've tried all of them, the night one, everything, but I've never tried this one before. But it says hydrating, and my face needs like moisture, like nobody's business. So it says it's super soft and conditioning and hydrating and soothes your skin, takes off your makeup. Um, I just, even waterproof mascara it says, so if this can replace my eye makeup remover too, that would be fantabulous. Um, so yeah. So I just picked up those couple things and I'm crossing my fingers that this helps because I'm like at a loss to do with my face. It's not showing up in the lighting, but I'm telling you, like my face is so cakey. And this morning this was totally covered and now that's off and I'm just having drama with my eyebrows. Like I'm just not happy like with my face right now. Um, on the other side, it's all messed up now. I did it a few hours ago, but um, my eyes today... I used the um, the first Naked palette, and I put Virgin in the inner area and on my brow bone. I put Half Baked on my eyelid from the inner corner here to like the mid midway, mid eyelid, like by my pupil. And then I did Smog on the outer V, and then I did, um, what's that color called? It's the matte light brown color. Uh, it starts with the B. I'm blanking on it, but it's the only light brown matte color in the Naked Palette. I did that in the crease and then a little bit of creep in the crease and blended it out like crazy to make it less dramatic. And then underneath, it's all smeary now because my eyes water in the cold, but I did um, creep and smog and then lined my waterline and my upper tight lined um, with mascara or with eyeliner. Another trick I do, <laughs> hey guys. Um, I line this like my upper waterline. I've noticed when I line that, it gives my lashes like a nice, um, full kind of look to them. I don't know. It's all smeary now. I'm sure it doesn't look too great, but I just thought I'd pop that in here. Um, so yeah. Oh, and I'm using that gal eyeliner in black. Um, and I've got on the, um, Benefits their real mascara, which is a pain in the ass to take off. So it'll be a great challenge for this to see if it's actually any good or not. So yeah, complexion drama. I think it's just because of the winter, but this is the first year that I'm really using high-end makeup I've never used before in my life. I've always only used drugstore. So it's kind of all trial and error for me. I've never contoured before until this year. That's all new for me. So I'm trying to just like figure out my skin and different application processes, especially with foundation because I have terrible, terrible skin. And like I have people compliment my complexion all the time and they watch my videos. And I'm like, you're crazy. Like you have to see me without makeup, guys. Like I really seriously should put in a picture of me without any makeup one day or start out the video without any makeup or something and then just show you like how I look after. Because I mean, I know this isn't that great now, but I mean, when I have it off, oh my God, <laughs> it is frightening. So anyways, complexion drama. Hopefully this will help me get some complexion perfection. That's fun to say. Say it. Say it with me. Complexion perfection. I don't know. I'm in a weird mood. I went out to lunch with my friend Stephanie. We were best friends in high school and I haven't seen her in two years. She lives in Norway now and she's home until March. So yeah. Anyways, cross your fingers for me. If you guys have ever used this L'Oreal um, foundation before, let me know below 
Let me know if you'd like to see a review for it or if you'd like to hear my thoughts after I do it. Um, if you've ever tried this like imitation beauty blender before, let me know. Um, basically, you want to tell me anything, tell me. You got a question for me, ask it. You got love, leave it. I think that's going to be my new signature sign off because I've noticed myself saying it the last couple of videos. All right, I'm going to go now because this video is getting too long. So I will talk to you guys later. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.